please wait for the microphone. First question for Kyle. We're going to start here with Scott on the left. Kyle, can you describe for us what it feels like to hit a ball 488 feet? <laughs> um, well, first off, I would have took it if it went in the first row. I, don't, I really don't care. A point's a point. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel like anything, I guess. You know, that's probably a good thing is that your hands don't hurt at the end of it. But, uh, you know, to, yeah, to, to be able to put, a, put up a, a run there and uh, extend the lead, it, it was nice. And what was the reaction like when you got back to the dugout? I mean, I don't know if you saw the yeah. Bryce's face or whatever it was. But yeah. Anyone say anything funny? Uh, a lot of people just looked to me weird. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, was, uh, it was cool. So, uh, cool moment, but happy that we got the win overall. You know, it's, you know the, the, the biggest thing here is trying to get a win at the end of the day. It doesn't matter who it is or whatever. You know, if we can get a win at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Go straight back to Jake. Were you sitting off speed in that spot? No. You weren't? No. Okay. No. That's just, I was on fastball and uh, saw it spinning in the middle. So. Um, Thompson's been talking a lot about how, you know, you and Reese, he thought Reese was close and you were like a little bit further behind him. And do, did today feel like you turned a corner? Was there anything different before the game that was different to you? Or Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the biggest thing is this. Um, you know, feeling feeling better overall, uh, you know, body wise, things like that, and uh, feeling better in the cage. Uh, you know, hell, I'll roll over seven times if we win. I don't really care. You know, as long as we win, I I, I really don't care. I just want to win at the end of the day. Okay, we're gonna go down here in the front. So I guess they said it was the hardest ball you've ever hit. Did you feel it was the hardest ball you've ever hit? Um. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, by the way it went out, sure. Yeah, that, that one was definitely a hard-hit baseball. So, um, you know, like I said, uh, it, it's good to, to be able to help contribute there and, uh, you know, start feeling a little bit better. Third row here on the left. Obviously, being up one nothing is, is big in any context. But, I mean, you've got Aaron Nola going on the mound tomorrow. He's he's allowed one unearned un un run and – his last 19 and third innings, uh, what does that do for a team um, kind of in this situation to kind of have that coming back on deck? Yeah, it's nice. Um, you know, wheels with the, the big tones out here tonight and uh, be able to have Knowles backing them up. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, it's not a, it's not an easy task just from facing him, uh, you know, being, playing these guys as a visiting player. And, uh, you know, I've always known that he's been a tough pitcher. And uh, the way that he's gone out, uh, taking care of his business this year, he's not faced by a moment. Uh, he's, you know, he's low heartbeat when, when it's the craziest moment in the game. And, uh, you know, he, I don't think that he really is bothered by if he does, uh, you know, get into a situation where he's not. So, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it's huge. So, uh, you know, looking forward to see the getting out here tomorrow and uh, playing behind them and uh, trying to score some runs, some runs for them. Right here in the middle, Tyler. Cal, you've made deep postseason runs, obviously, with the Cubs and Red Sox. When you decided to come here, what made you think this organization could turn the corner and get to this spot? Yeah, I mean, uh, you just look at the – one, you look at the roster, <laughs> and it's super talented, uber talented. And, uh, you know, you, you look at a, a fan base who's hungry to win, and uh, you, you, um, you know, that, that was kind of just my biggest thing was in the offseason. I just wanted to go to a place where I thought that we had a really good chance of, of winning and, uh, you know, trying to make deep runs. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, it was kind of a, a pretty easy choice, uh, you know, when you you know, you're looking at it from my perspective in the off season, where uh, you have the the MVP on a team, uh, you have the you know the second the second guy in the Cy Young voting. You got Aaron, you know, you got Aaron, you got Reese, you got tons of talent on the team, and then you go out and you pick up more talent too. And uh, you look at the the way that the the bullpen has been. You know, it's it was pretty pretty easy choice. Down here in front, you talk about the composition of the team. Well, you know. Aaron and Reese aside, the, the big 
the big hitters, the, the most important people were paid a lot of money to come here, yourself included. That money kind of paid off tonight and has been paying off pretty, pretty consistently. What, can you talk about the, uh, the, the moves that John Middleton has okayed and that Dave uh, Dombrowski has made? And, and this year you were, you know, the first domino that fell. Yeah. Um, I mean, first off, you, t you tip your cat to, to John, who's, you know, he, he went out there and he said he wants to win. And, um, you know, he put it, put it out there for uh, Dave to go out there and uh, put together a roster that he felt like was going to win. And, uh, you know, the, the B sitting here, being in the organization, uh, can't be more happy, more proud, uh, not just of just because we're here, um, you know, just seeing how we've, you know, formed together throughout this whole year and to see how, you know, you see, you know, going out and getting Nick, you go and get uh, a lot of pool bin pieces, you go out and, um, you know, you, you made the trade for Kyle Gibson last year and, uh, you know, getting the trade for Jose Alvarado. Um, you know, you make a nice trade. You make, a, I think, one of the most underrated trades uh, of the year when you go get Brandon Marsh, you get Noah Syndergaard and uh, Dave Robertson that, you know, he's winning the, the win. And, uh, you know, especially when we were in that position uh, where we're at at the trade deadline, that it was the message that, hey, we're, we're here and we want to win. So, um, you know, you, you just tip your cap to those guys because they're – um, they're making it, you know, for us, they, you know, for us to see that, you know, it, it's definitely uh, very pleasing for us, but also we know that we want to get the job done as well. Okay, good job, Todd. Zach had never been in the postseason before this year, so I guess what's maybe impressed you most about how he's handled himself, performed, and he's pitched pretty well, obviously. Yeah. Um, like I said, the demeanor, uh, you know, he's – He's kind of like Knowles with the no, the low heartbeat, and he's very, uh, you know, in tune, locked in. But you can also have a conversation with him as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I think the the biggest thing is looking at his command, and he's the way that he's commanding the baseball, and uh, he he's putting you know ninety seven to ninety nine where he wants it, and uh, commanding all three, all two, three of his off speed pitches as well. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm glad he's on my team. Did you talk to him at all today? I mean, he is, does seem to be one of those guys that doesn't like, you know, yeah, I don't played talk him in, to I me. played him in Golden Tee today. So <laughs> played him in Golden Tee before his start. I was a little nervous, but uh, uh, <laughs> I won. But, uh, no, he, he, we had to stop after nine because we had to go out and take batting practice. So, uh, <laughs> so he said, we're, we're going to play tomorrow. Can you explain how unusual that is? Maybe because I know some stars, they are locked in, like, don't talk to me, don't look at me, um, yeah. you know. I mean, it's, it, it, the, the best way is what works for a certain individual, right? And uh, it, it works for him what he does. And it's, you know, for him it might be a way to, the, you know, be normal, calm down, whatever it is. And, you know, some guys, you know, I play with guys who are, you know, very, you know, want to get locked in in their own way where they're quiet they got music on they don't really uh say much to the people but you know that that's a, doesn't bother me you know i i want them to go out there and uh feel like they're they're comfortable and whatever they want to do and go out there and be the best for them to the feel the feel that they're out there ready to compete and you know that works for wheels and i'm completely okay with that <laughs> i like playing golden tea <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta hit the roll button. <laughs> Let's take one more back there, Steve. Congratulations on the win. Could you talk a bit about what Rob brought to the team? Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, you weren't in the the situation you wanted to be in as a, as a team when it happened. What did he bring, and what did he not try to do that maybe was best at that point? Um, you know, I, I I tip my cap to him because it was, you know, no one can script out the year. I've said this to a lot of people that no one can really, uh, you know, if someone were to look at anyone's season and say that you're going to go uh, through a manager, manager's change, you're going to go through 
a uh, you know Bryce being down, you're going to go through Seggy being down, you're going to go through Wheels being down, uh, you're going to go through some bull, you know bullpen guys going down, and uh, you know no one can really write that out. And uh, the way that he handled it, and the way that he was able to get the best out of each and every single player, and the way that he did it, where he was just the same guy every single day. He didn't uh, you know ride a roller coaster. You know he he's gonna. You know he's gonna be your, um, you know yeah. Is he gonna make? He's gonna make you laugh. You know that's who he is. But he's also gonna let you know when, uh, you know he feels like something might need to be uh, tightened up a little bit or whatever it is. You know that, uh, you know he's seen a lot of baseball and uh, you know kind of. And I always say not. I hate saying pay the dues, but you know he's been in baseball for a long time and it's really cool to see him get this opportunity because it's well deserved. It probably should have happened many years ago, but I'm happy that it's here with us because you know you couldn't uh, ask for a better guy to kind of take this over, uh, especially the way that everything was going this year where, you know, like I said, unscripted. And he was able to, to make sure that he weathered the storm and made sure that he got the best out of every single person. You, you say he makes you laugh. Is that... Is that a bit of an MO? Does he know what he's doing? Is he doing that intentionally for a reason? Uh, you know, I just think it's who he is. <laughs> he's got some really good one-liners, and uh, you know, you're able to go in there and mess around with him in, in his office. And uh, you know, I joked around for the day. I go, "Hey, am I going to play a hard eight today?" He goes, "Maybe." Yeah. You know, so <laughs> things like that. You know, it's, he, he's a he's a good dude. But then when it comes down to the baseball, right? You you, you saw it when there's big moments happening. He's the same guy. He's, he's thinking about the next moves, and uh, you know he's he's that guy who's not going to be surprised by anything. And could I just ask you, when he came to the team, did he have anything to say to the group that sort of relaxed you to make make you laugh at? Because it wasn't a great moment when he came over. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I think the biggest thing that he said is <laughs> it's going to be business. You know, it's going to be business as usual. You know, just because uh, he's now taking the the manager's job, that you know he's not going to change who he is to us. <laughs> And that was kind of the biggest thing where, you know, yeah, are we not going to see him maybe here and there sometimes because he's going to be doing things that managers need to be doing? Sure. But uh, the way that he was able to, um, you know, still make sure he came and checked on every single person, walking around out in the outfield, checking on pitchers and BP, uh, seeing how people are and, and also getting his work in, you know, it, it's really impressive. Kyle, okay, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks. Thank <laughs> you.